Hey, hello guys. So I am assuming that you have done the Kotlin setup part successfully, and now we are going to go in the programming world. So if you are a noobster, then you are not going to be noobster for so long. So let's start with our first programming. So uh, what we have to do, we will create a Kotlin file. We will click on this SRC folder here, which is source folder, and we will create some sources here. You will create a new and you will select Kotlin file slash class and you can give it any name whatever you want so I am just going to name it as hello Kotlin and you will press ok so this is our first you know first Kotlin you can say file not class I'll uh, cover the class topic again in the future uh, but right now I'm not doing this so this is our first class or first file of Kotlin and uh, till now you don't have started any programming but I hope that uh, uh, you are ready till this part so what what we will do if you can see the top panel then uh, you, you can't see here but if you will start in IDEA, idea then there is a tool section on the top when you click on that tools then you can see here Kotlin and uh, there is something Kotlin REPL so you have to click on this Kotlin REPL this is a Kotlin playground so you must be thinking what is this playground so um, what I will do I will build a module Kotlin demo and restart and then I will tell, tell you about this so what is the Kotlin playground whatever you want to perform anything like uh, if you have to perform a mathematical operation and you don't want to code then uh, you can see here in the playground you can do random stuff in the playground like uh, whatever comes to your mind do it like you have to calculate something then do it do it here so this is how it will work and uh, what I have to do so this is my playground so suppose uh, how how it will work suppose I have to calculate 3 plus 2 so I'll write 3 plus 2 okay and I'll press command plus enter if you are using Mac OS or if you are using uh, Windows operating system then uh, it must be control plus enter so you can see here it will guide you through it so I am pressing command plus enter and you can see the result 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 I didn't do anything now I have to uh, suppose I have to perform uh, 3 into 5 so into is represented by this star asterisk you can say 3 into 5 I'll press enter and here you can see uh, I had I had to press enter but uh, we need to uh, we need to press command plus enter so when I'll press command plus enter you can see the result it is 15 so this is the playground like I'll, I'm gonna perform 7 divided by 4 and uh, so you can see the result is 1 why it is 1 because 7 divided by 4 gives you uh, 1.25 and uh, it ignores that uh, uh, whatever is uh, you can say that whatever is uh, uh, in floating value so it ignores that particular thing and uh, it just uh, it will just see the one which is your uh, quotient basically so this is how it will work so I, I'll de demonstrate this in a very good manner in our next videos so this is basically cap uh, REPL for you and you can perform anything here like uh, I have to write something which is my name suppose Pavan Kumar I'll press command enter and you can see the result Pavan Kumar so this is how it will work you can perform anything here without any uh, you know if there is some error then you have don't have to worry about that so this is REPL this is playground you can perform the uh, this is basically a rough file you know there, if there is a copy you make then they, you also make a rough copy so this is rough copy you can't do uh, you can do anything here so this is REPL for you and uh, we will start the real programming from next video so till then take care